Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm technologist Dr. Wee Himbu. I'm from the University of uh, National University of Malaysia, and currently I'm a research fellow in the Institute of Climate Change. My background of research or my interest of research is on the ecology of a charismatic marine ecosystem, specifically coral reefs. So when I look into the ecology, I usually look into the interactions of the organisms in the ecosystem, and hence I usually play or interact with a lot of data, not just on the organism data, as I look also into the environmental data to harmonize both organis uh, organism data and environmental data for the interaction, especially the changing of environment affecting the organisms. So it is in line with my study on climate change, whereby a change of climate uh, affecting the changes of the composition interaction of organisms in the marine ecosystem. And thus, I work with a lot of large data. So these large data requires me to have a very strong statistical tools for me to identify the interactions between and among my data sets. And for these purposes, I've chose our statistical programming tools and especially running it into an integrated development environment such as RStudio so that this can help me to process my data and run statistical analysis much easier. And so today I would like to introduce to you the R statistical programming and how to download both the tools as well as the IDE to run our analysis. So before we start, let me show you where can we download all the data. So start off with the R statistical programming tools. So we have to go to this website, the w, uh, R project, where I'll download and I'll get the link for you in the description. So we click on download R and it will come to the mirror page. So since I'm in Southeast Asia, I'll choose the nearest country to me, which is Indonesia. And I'll go to Indonesia and I'll download the R programming language based on the operating system that I use. For me, it will be Windows, but uh, depending on where, what operating system you're using, choose uh, accordingly. Once I've downloaded the R statistical programming and I have uh, install it in my system, I will have to download the IDE, which is at RStudio desktop. So this is the link to the RStudio desktop, which is uh, owned by Posit right now. So you go to the download, and once you've installed R, install RStudio by clicking this button, download the execution files, and install it in your system. All right, so once we have installed both the R programming language and also the R Studio. We don't have to uh, double click or get uh, load both at the same time. We just need to click one, which is the R Studio, and you'll load the R programming language. So as you can see right here, this is the when you first time when you switch on your R Studio, you will have basically three uh, windows here, one on the left and two on the right. However, usually when I run my statistical analysis, I will have four windows, two on the left, two on the right. So let me explain to you one by one. So on the top left, this is what I call it as a scripting window, where I script all my uh, script for current work and uh, for referencing for the future. And I will save it as a text file or other files such as our markdown file. So this will serve as a reference for me to run other analysis in the future. And so with this, we will have uh, we can run uh, call it back in the future, and we don't have to remember all the scripts that we have run before. And then at the bottom, we, I call it the console windows. The console window is where you run all your script analysis. So you don't run it at a scripting window; you run it at a console window to get your output or your data. And uh, and for whenever we run our analysis or data and we save it as an object, it will show in the environmental windows. This environment window is where we import all our data sets into our 
IDE or Integrated Development Environment where it will show you what data has been loaded and what can we uh, retrieve from the uh, loaded data to run our statistical analysis. And lastly, on the bottom here is where I call it the miscellaneous, where we have the file directory, the plots, and the packages or the add-ons that you want to put it into your R uh, programming language to improve or increase your cap R's uh, capabilities. Lastly, here we have the help documentation. So technically, basically, this is all uh, for the introduction or installation and loading of the first time loading of our R Studio. And later on, I'll show you step by step how to use our programming language in R Studio and how to run statistical analysis. Thank you.